I have the M1 iMac, the M1 MacBook, and the M1 iPad. But how does the speakers, webcam, and microphones fare up against each other? Well, in today's video, that's what I'm gonna find out. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Tech Kamoon, I uncover Apple tech and Apple related tech. So hit that subscribe and like button if that's what you're into. But today I'm gonna compete all three of the M1 uh, ecosystem against each other when it comes to webcam, microphones, and speakers. So each one obviously has its advantages and disadvantages, as well as different form factors in general. But today I'm gonna focus on these three factors and just see which one is best in each situation. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the tests. We have the iMac 24 inch, and this has got the 1080p webcam. And this is just a test to see how the microphones and obviously the image quality is. So in terms of the lighting setup, we've currently got my studio lights set to its standard uh, setting that you see on my YouTube videos. So this is gonna be some of the, the best lighting, obviously with that nice dark background. So you guys let me know how it looks, but we're gonna now stress test this, this webcam to see how it looks in different situations. So now we've got all the lights off, except for obviously the lights in the background. So this is a huge stress test on the webcam just to see obviously how it's gonna handle. Okay, so now we've got the main light on. So this is sort of a, a typical, I guess, uh, setting. So again, uh, all the blinds are down and everything like that, but this is just one light uh, on with obviously lights in the background. Again, see how the dynamic range is with, with everything. Uh, so again, see how this light is handling, see how this light is handling it uh, in terms of the dynamic range and then let's move on to the final test and here is sort of the typical streaming setup almost so we've got one light just over here to sort of light me up so you might have like an Elgato or something like that so again this sort of to represent that if you've got a little light in in the corner and then maybe a dark background or something like like you would typically see in a streaming setup so see how this handles it see how the skin tones are see how the noise is in the background again like i said this 1080p and obviously let me know how the microphone is because obviously i've been speaking throughout the whole thing let me know down in the comments below and here we have the M1 iPad. So this is only in 1080p again, and this is a sort of cropped mode. So this is typically what you'll see. However, it does have an ultra wide mode, which looks like this. So as you can see, it is so wide. And this is in the same position as the, as the 24 inch iMac uh, that I just done the test on. And yeah, as you can see, it's a very different position because obviously the camera is over on this side and it's not on the top top like it is on the iMac. So I have to look in this corner of the iPad to really engage with you guys. But if I look at the center of the screen, this is the typical view. And I'm again, in exactly the same position. I haven't moved, I've just grabbed the iPad and plopped it pretty much in the exactly same distance as uh, the iMac and everything like that. And this is the shot. So right now we've got obviously the studio lights going on. So this is its best scenario. So now let's test it without the studio lights to really stress test this. So without the studio lights, this is obviously see what it looks like. Again, let me know down in the comments below how you think this has handled it compared to, let's say, the 24-inch iMac. And also, let me know the audio quality. Let me know if it's any better. I'm not going to be doing any editing uh, to the audio. So again, let me know what you guys think. Now let's set one light on. So I'm just going to turn on this. So this will be typically the streaming setup. So again, if you've got your iPad on your desk and you've got one light, here's one light going off. And then obviously a dark background. This is sort of the typical streaming setup. So you guys let me know what you think of this and here we have the lights this is the final test this is just your normal sort of bedroom light and this is sort of the quality so again exactly same position I haven't moved it or anything like that and just let me know how the video quality is especially compared to the other models so now we're in the FaceTime application to show you center stage so center stage allows you to basically move around the scene and the camera will essentially follow because it's cropping into that wide angle lens and it, then it's doing some computation to sort of figure out where my face is and keep me in line. So there are a couple of things that I want to show you. So first of all, because it's done that crop in, I'm really close to the camera now, which I'm not a fan of. Also, it's kind of looking up my nose because again, it's not as high as the uh, IMAX. So again, it's sort of up and across. So the best place is to sort of stay back a little bit further. So around here, but I have a couple of issues. So even though the tracking is really good so the tracking does track me absolutely fine 
and we're seeing some sort of almost natural motion blur from it but yeah it's sort of following me pretty well the issue is is the head height so for some reason it gives me this huge head height and if i for example try to keep going up it's not letting me sort of close in on that gap, which is really, really annoying. So it's now gonna center me right here, even though I don't want it to. I want it to sort of almost move it down, but I can't sort of touch the screen to adjust for that. So now it's left me with this huge head height when really I want the camera to be p positioned a little bit lower. But no matter what I do, like I said, if I stand up, again, it's pushing it there. And I wish there was a manual way to just go, no, I just want it to adjust it here. So that is my issue with center stage is that, the way that I like to film myself uh, in Zoom calls and stuff like that, center stage is something that I'm probably going to avoid because I just have no control over it. And here we have the M1 MacBook Air. So this has the worst webcam out of the three because this has the 720p webcam. But let me know, obviously, the audio quality, see if it sounds any different to the other uh, two. And again, with the studio lights on, this is obviously what the visual quality looks like. But I'm going to turn the studio lights off to really stress test this 720p webcam. OK, and here are all the lights off, except for obviously the lights in the background so let me know what you think of the audio, uh, visual quality of this uh, already just to my eye it is definitely worse than the other two um, so even though the ISP is working really hard without any lights this is not the one and now I have the main bedroom light on so same as before let me know what you guys think in comparison to the other two again the 720p webcam is really working hard and I don't know why but it to my eye looks a lot worse than the other two but let let me know what the audio quality is like throughout the whole thing. And finally, we have just the single light going on at the moment. So this will be again, like I said before, a typical streaming setup. So let me know how it looks like, see how it's handling the blacks as well as the skin tones and obviously the noise levels. Now we've done the webcam test. So remember to comment down below on which is your favorite, but let's get into the speakers and see which one is king out of all three. Okay, so that was a lot of tests. So let me know down in the comments below which uh, speaker you found best. But in my opinion, obviously the iMac takes the win. It's got obviously a lot of uh, room to play around with the speakers. Obviously has the most amount of speakers as well and has the biggest speakers of them all. The iPad really surprised me. Uh, the iPad speakers are fantastic. Uh, and obviously the MacBook Air held its own, but it definitely was the least uh, best out of the lot. So there you go. I've competed all three M1 products, the iMac, the MacBook and the iPad. And I've tested the microphones, the webcam and the speakers out for you. So you don't have to. So let me know if you actually gained something out of this. Obviously, it was fun to make and was really interesting to see the different qualities uh, in each of the M1 products. So if you enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content. And if you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tech Carmoon. I'm going to be posting a lot more on those channels. But if you want to see more from me right now, you guys know what to do. There's two videos right over over here go ahead click on one of them you'll absolutely love it anyway look after yourselves and i'll see you in the next video bye